Hey everyone, it's Vickerman, and uh, just bringing you a short video to talk a little bit about this Cypher glass. The Cypher is the one that I've been playing on my single player campaign that I haven't been recording. And uh, it's a very interesting class. It gives you a lot of different options. And I thought I would just share with you what I think are some pretty good builds for it. Uh, to yeah, a lot of this is going to be kind of in retrospect because my character might not, you know, meet all the things that I'm going to talk about. But it's kind of from what I've experienced so far. This seems to be a, a couple different ways you can use the class effectively. So uh, first of all, you got to think that they're really the cipher is pretty much a damage dealing class. That's really what it's designed for and also for debuffs and all those sorts of things. Uh, the thing you need to th think about with the Cypher is that positioning is very important for almost all the spells that you have, um, which I can talk a little bit more about those in a bit, uh, but suffice it to say sometimes you have to you know, target an ally to attack enemies that are around them. So the Cypher can use that on, say, your tank character to attack all the enemies that are being drawn into fighting the tank. So it makes it very useful. Um, but you know you have to you have to think about what you're wanting to be doing uh, which will affect how you're going to be standing. And really to effectively do it you need to really know how to do your tank as well. Uh, eh? But uh, so yeah this this is my I character. Whoops. This is uh, not very quiet. <laughs> That's amusing. So this is my character, uh, Altween, the fourth level Coastal Amawa Cypher. Uh, so my backstory that I kind of made up for this guy is that he's sort of a pirate. Because uh, I wanted someone who was sort of a caster, but sort of rough around the edges. And I think the Cypher, you know, they're stealing soul power to fuel their spells, you know, it sounds a bit sinister. So that kind of fits the pirate background that I was kind of thinking of for this guy. So I picked Mercenary as his uh, background. And, you know, that's kind of how I've been thinking of this character. So let's check out the stats. So first of all, I'll, there are two different ways, I think, to really build the Cypher. One is a melee and one is more of a ranged. I think both can be effective. Uh, I tend to think the melee is probably a little bit better. And the reason is because most uh, melee weapons tend to have a higher speed than the ranged weapons. So like say, right, right now I have this uh, flail, which is very fast, and then also a fast stiletto. And I've got talents for two-handed to reduce time to hit and all those kind of things. Because the thing you got to know with a cypher is the more you can hit, the more times you will use soul whip. And that means that the more focus you're going to get for your spells. So the faster your weapons can be, the better. Now, with that said, that also means that dexterity is an important stat. Now, you can see when I made this character, I didn't quite focus on that quite as much. But I think it kind of works out. Uh, for this particular build. Uh, and here's what I'm thinking for this. Since we have melee weapons two-handed, uh, we're attacking very quickly. So that means that the extra action speed for dexterity, you know, for high dexterity, it might be a little overkill because you can only hold so much focus and you ideally you're wanting to be casting it, but cypher spells don't really take a whole lot of focus for each individual one, at least so far. It's just been like 10 or 15 focus for each ability. So really for the melee cipher, it kind of makes sense to do sort of this uh, stat layout, even though maybe I might not have done the same thing now. Uh, keeping a lot of the stats kind of the same. I think intelligence is very, very important for the cipher and you should really boost it as much as you can because uh, it'll increase the area of effect for a lot of your spells, although some of them may be a little bugged. We'll see when if they fix that in the patch. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem like some of them are getting their intelligence boost at the time, uh, but we'll see about that uh, changing. So 
And then also duration is important because you're going to do a lot of debuffs and inflicting status like blind and things like that. So really, intelligence is very important for both, both builds. Uh, now for the melee build, this is something that I don't think the character creator said was important. But for a melee cipher, it is very important to have resolve. And the reason is, is right here, concentration. So concentration determines how likely you are to have your spells or attacks interrupted during combat. Now if you're casting a cipher spell, and you're in melee range with a unit, it's very possible they're going to hit you. And if you don't have enough resolve, you're not going to have enough concentration, and you're going to be interrupted, which is going to be really annoying. Really, really annoying. So, you know, if I was doing this again, I might put even more resolve for a melee type of cipher. But keep that in mind, the resolve is going to be important for your melee uh, cipher. In fact, more than dexterity uh, for the melee build. You don't want to have too little constitution, uh, whereas in the range build, you may want to make this pretty low. Uh, for the melee, it needs to at least be average. And of course, might is going to always be important for just about every character who's dealing damage. So if you can get it pretty high, that's great too. So this is what I kind of think uh, think about the stats for the melee cipher. So let's take the, uh, the party here and maybe try to find something to fight. I think I may have cleared this area, to be honest. So it may be a little difficult to find somebody to fight. Oh, that tax to my limit. <laughs> Oops. Got a trap there and uh Is there anyone around? Wasn't really thinking this one through. I bet there's some guys over here. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, you don't need to be up front. We may be in trouble for this. I don't know. I'm just doing this for demonstration. So. What I'm doing here is having my tank, who's Edder, who's yeah. kind of the main warrior type here. Um, and he's going to engage there. Now, for the Cypher spells, we have stuff like Mind Wave, which is going to do in a cone. And what that does is you inflict damage to the one enemy you target, and then it will knock down guys behind you. So it's a really handy thing. It's a first level one that you can get right from the beginning. So now uh, let's let's fight a little bit here. So I'm using my melee weapons, and you can see my focus is going up very quickly, very quickly because of how how quick my weapons are. You see, these level two spells are only 15 focus. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use amplified thrust. This is one of those ones where you target an ally, and it will attack the enemies oh, behind you. Eh? So what? that'll do is uh, the enemies that are attacking this guy are going to be hit from that spell and it's gonna push him back so that's kind of a nice nice thing um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and have some of these guys do some other things just to try to make sure we don't die and well unfortunately that's gonna hit us so let's see if we can position here maybe Uh, I think we can probably deal with that. So, uh, I don't know if you saw it. I wasn't paying attention to the Cypher ability there. So basically, for the melee Cypher, you do want him to be attacking a, a lot. Um, and Mind Blades here is a very nice second level one where you target an enemy and it's basically chain lightning. So it does a lot of damage and it's just a nice spell. You can use it quite often. That's the nice thing about the Cypher abilities. It's because you're gaining focus all the time. You can use a lot of spells a lot of times. However, 
The main problem is just about every single Cypher build is going to be very squishy. So if you don't watch out, you will be in trouble in melee range. You want to make sure that you're working with your tank so that the enemies aren't going to be uh, targeting you. So I'm going to go ahead and switch this rogue. Since we're blocking the entrance, we really need her to... Uh, To use a uh, ranged weapon. How may I help? So create a lance, road damage. So these guys have like zero damage reduction. It's kind of nice. Yes. And cool. Okay, Cypher. Gonna use your mind blast again. So you can see that 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 way of using the Cypher is pretty effective. Um, it's very important to not let yourself get surrounded to where the tank isn't going to be taking most of the damage uh, because you will be targeted since you're in melee range and you're going to get annihilated. But if you can keep that from happening, you're going to do a ton of damage all the time. It's going to be good. So let me switch over to a new character screen and we will check out how I think the ranged cypher build should be so we'll see you over there okay here we are in character creation to just check out the uh, range build for the cypher okay so just like with every other class it really i mean it doesn't make a huge difference what your race uh race gender culture combo are as long as they're kind of playing into your strengths but i think for any type of ranged unit probably your best bet is going to be the wood elf because of this distant advantage against an enemy that is more than four meters away wood elves gain bonuses to accuracy deflection and reflex reflex oh i thought there was an offensive bonus but i guess that is uh that's basically dodging ranged enemies, so it's it's not that important, actually. So, uh, yeah, you can pick any of the races you want. Uh, perhaps the godlikes may even be a good choice. So, let's see. For this build, I'm thinking that... I mean, Death God like might uh, might be a great option for this uh, because of this Death's Usher ability, so that that way your Cipher will be really great at finishing enemies off. But again, like I said, just about anything will work. I think the Dwarves are not optimal because of the minus one dexterity, but you know you can adjust for that. And your Orlin are probably not optimal either because of uh, minus one might. Whereas, uh, although let's see, I wonder if perception might be a good thing for a ranged, uh, ranged cipher. It probably doesn't matter that much. So, you know, if you wanna, if you wanna increase it, that's probably fine, but it's probably not necessary. So yeah, let's let's just do the death god like I think that will be a really good build and you can pick your body type. That I don't think that matters really at all. And we're going to pick cipher. Okay, so the spells you get at the beginning of the game, uh, if you're doing the ranged build, you want to kind of think of that when you're doing that because you know, mind wave might not be the greatest thing because it's uh, you target someone who's a 
pretty short distance away. Creates a wave around them. Or I think, well, it does say it has eight meters range. I guess I've never tried it because I'm never at range with that character. So potentially that could work. I think Whisper of Treason is a really handy ability uh, because it'll charm the enemies and they'll fight for you. The thing about it is, is it takes a while to just to cast it. So you'll have to think about that. But I think especially for a ranged type of cy cypher, you're going to really benefit from that because you'll be further away and have a little more time. Oh, let's see. Creates a toxic physical manifestation of mutual antipathy between the cypher and the enemy target. Anyone caught in the path between the two will suffer corrosive damage. Again, this is going to depend on your positioning. You're going to want to be somewhere where you can target an enemy that's going to be between you. Or what but You want to target an enemy where there are enemies between you. So that, that may or may not be a great thing. I think Ice Strike is a pretty good uh, basic attack plus uh, blinding. Well, I don't think it does any damage actually, but it does blind in a kind of an area of effect, which is really nice. Soul Shock, what that'll do is that will, that's again one of those ones where you target an ally. So if with a tank, this would be a really great thing to have your ranged person cast. So there's a whole lot of great options. Uh, what about Tenuous Grasp? And you see, this will make them frightened. It could be pretty useful. Uh, it's confusing as well. That's really nice. So there's a lot of good options to start out with. I think probably Soul Shock and Whisper of Treason will give you the most use. But you can choose whatever you want. All right, so this is where the real meat of it comes in. Remember how I said that Resolve was going to be important for the melee cipher? It's really not important for your range cipher. Intelligence is going to be very important, no matter what. Now, Dexterity, I think, is going to be more important for the range cipher. Because, because again, the, the uh, ranged weapons tend to be a slower speed than a lot of melee weapons. And, in fact, you know, you can take some off of Constitution and put it in Might. I probably wouldn't take any more than that. But, yeah. And Perception. Uh, it's going to be up to you. It, I think Perception can be useful. Because uh, it'll help you with Reflex, reflex stuff. Um, but yeah, it's not probably not entirely necessary. You could take two off of this and throw it onto Might as well for just a really glass cannon type of range cipher, which, you know, is probably what you're looking for. So that's what we'll do. So this kind of stat allocation, you'd be in good shape. And in fact, we're probably in the Ard uh civilization because so we can we can make this even better. Uh, doing something like uh, increased dexterity with the dead fire archipelago, or you know Valia that that works too, or you know how you can have plus one might. In fact, that may be what you want to do because that character will start with a bow. So I think we'll we'll pick that, and uh, like I say, the background is kind of up to you. Ciphers don't really have an important skill that they use for kind of their archetype, so you can kind of do whatever you want with it. Probably athletics is pretty nice, as well as stealth. Uh, if you'd like to move the entire party in stealth, it's always good to do that. Survival can also be good for, you know, your different uh, potions and things make them last longer I think so yeah that's gonna be up to you and how you want this character to work compared to the others the skills don't really contribute to being a cipher so I think maybe we'll just go with uh, Eh, 
think stealth and survival is good. Maybe hunter. And yeah, this stuff is up to you as well. And whatever, huh? whatever, the way. whatever. Uh, color. Sigh the Cypher. Or maybe make it all one word. That's a cool name. Scythe the Cypher. Yeah. Well, uh, I'll go ahead and skip some of this part here and we'll go straight into combat so I can show you a little bit how this character is going to go. Alright, so here we are in combat. What you need? And this won't show you everything about this, but, you know, yeah. maybe it'll give you a little idea. So yeah, as you can see, whoa, mm -hmm. coming straight for me, that's good. Eh? As you can see with that high dexterity, you know, the bow is almost firing as much as that other cypher was doing, as far as speed. So that's really great. The key here is going to be you can't let your melee troops allow your cypher to be targeted because you're going to be even more squishy than the melee cypher. What's this going on? Flanked. Okay, so what I just did was shocking grasp and it you target your ally and it will attack the enemies around them. So that's cool. You have to remember to go back to attacking if you've done something else. So you see that high dexterity is sure. really doing good for us. So this is kind of how you would want a ranged cipher build to go. I think this one is pretty well optimal as far as min-maxing, as far as stats and things. And even the pick in the race for that bonus is probably going to be helpful for a ranged DPS type of character. So I think you're you're going to gain focus probably just as quickly as that melee cipher, but you're going to be maybe a little less likely to die. So that'll be great. So hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you got any other ideas about how to use the cipher in Pillars of Eternity, just uh, leave it leave it a comment below, and we'll figure out how to do this together. Since it's a brand new game and people are still trying to figure this thing out. Just thought I would uh, put in my two cents, but we will continue the conversation at another time. So see you then.